Don't worry, before you watch this video, I'll be playing this on the Series X, so you don't have to worry about the footage looking like this. <laughs> Anyway, my name's Tom, welcome to Vintage Matthews, and today we're going to be looking at the cars of Cyberpunk 2077. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we are doing something a bit different. We haven't really played games like this on the channel before, and, well, it's a massive new release. It's absolutely huge. 8 million units sold before the game was even out. Ridiculous. Anyway, Cyberpunk 2077, for those who may not know, is an open world RPG game. Now, the reason I'm uploading or showing you guys this footage onto the channel is because of one particular thing. Cars. Cars are in this game and they're quite a prominent feature. You can buy cars, you can't upgrade them, but the map is massive. If we go into the map screen, you can see here just how big the map actually is. So cars are a viable form of Transport. You can fast travel, but who does that? It's boring. Anyway, I've bought two vehicles, as you can see here, and what I thought we'd do is do a small road trip through the game and look at some of the cars that the game has to offer, and hopefully answer a question, which is, if you're a car enthusiast, would you like this game? I think it's a simple question. I like RPG games, and I understand some of you guys only watch me for the automotive racing kind of content, but I feel this game has such a good understanding of cars it works really well I'll explain about it in a little bit but anyway so far I've bought this this cost me like fifty thousand dollars in the game or euro whatever they call it it looks a bit like a Mustang from the front I can kind of see a Mustang in this um, let me know if you guys can see any other sort of shapes the back ends definitely not a Mustang I get that but some of the cars in this game they're obviously influenced from real life vehicles uh, this is the other one which I said looked a bit like an Austin Princess, the car that James drove and looked like a piece of cheese. You can, however, if you squint hard enough, I think, see a little bit of a Golf Mark 1 GTI in there. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to now choose which one of these vehicles to go around the map in. And obviously, when you've got two cars like this, there's only one choice. Yeah, that's right. We're going in the Austin Princess. There's only one option when you've got those two cars there. So... First question you guys may be asking, what's the handling model like? So what I think I'll do in answer to that question is I will drive around in this very derelict part of the map. We're on the border right now, um, so hopefully you can see the weight transfer of the vehicles. The cars are quite weighty in this game, and the suspension model is actually surprisingly good. So if I go on this curb here, you'll see the car bounces. If I turn in too hard, you get catastrophic understeer. The handling model for this game is very good, do not get me wrong. It's a little bit wobbly in places, but the majority of it is pretty damn good. So, let's crack on and head into the city. Now, something you might be able to realise straight away is the speedometer at the bottom left. It says we're doing about 110... Oh no, we've changed gear. We're doing about 100, 110 miles an hour. The sense of speed in this game... Not that great. You don't feel like you're going all that fast. Oh, hello. What is this? This vehicle to the left of me here, um, I don't know what they're called in game. The, the names are like all numbers and just random vowels. To me, this looks a bit like an Interceptor slash an AMC Gremlin. And at the front, I reckon you can see a hint of a DeLorean. This guy's lost his bonnet for some reason. Uh, look, someone over there has got an Austin Princess as well. Very nice. Nice to see that in the future, British Leyland is thriving. Driving very well. Okay, what is this? So this is like a sort of a K car. Some sort of Daihatsu minivan, maybe? Oh! Suddenly just stopped. This game's a little bit buggy. Yeah. Um, okay, well, let's get out. Let's have a look at this. So before we enter the, uh, the gargantuous city, we have some cars behind us. So this here, um, yeah, without a doubt, is some form of Daihatsu minivan. Maybe a Suzuki um, of some sort. Very compact, very small, very K car. Now, where's that car gone? There was an MR2 literally right there. And I was going to say, now we're going to move on to the MR2. It's buggered off. So in terms of our road trip, we'll head through the city, see how many cars we can find. Um, and what we'll do is we'll end up going all the way down to and bottom of the map, which is around here. There's like a border of sorts. So we'll head there. I'm not going to put a waypoint down. We'll see if we can go there completely, you know, through general knowledge. I've only played... 20 hours of this game, but I still don't know the map. It's massive. If you're wondering as well, you can change view. You can go into interior if you so wish. 
Um, again, the issue I have with interior is field of view is a bit too short for my liking. And, um, yeah, sensor speed ain't that great. What have we got here? This looks a bit like, what would we, what would we say? Ford Ranger, a Dodge maybe? Oh, maybe I'd say it's more of a Dodge sort of Ram looking at it from that kind of angle. Maybe a hint of a Hummer in there because of its chonkiness. Look at those tires! They're huge! Absolutely massive. Oh, hello! So this is a variation of the main cover car for Cyberpunk. It's the one that was added to Forza recently. Uh, hello. Sorry. Oh, God. Just, just edit that bit out. As I was saying, this is a variation of the main cover car for Cyberpunk 2077. And it's pretty damn nice. Now for this, I'd probably say it looks a bit like a Ferrari Testarossa. It's definitely got that sort of 80s supercar vibe to it. It's very nice. It's pretty fast as well. So we were just in the Princess, struggling to do 100. But as we can see here, we're doing 130. No problem whatsoever. Someone's just getting shot there. That, that happened in Night City. Now another important thing about any driving game is the map. What is the map like to drive on? Now, when I first saw this game, I thought it would be... Ridiculous. I thought it'd be too claustrophobic. I thought there wouldn't be any space to get your car up to speed And I thought you'd just be driving at nine thankfully the roads are actually quite wide and As a map goes, it's pretty damn solid. I've gotten lost a few times as evident is Proven right now as I've just got to a dead end, but it's genuinely a pleasure to drive on the physics are Nice as I previously mentioned and if you want to you can get the arse end. I just hit a police car Back end out. Come on. There we go. Yeah. I mean, I need to crash, but there we go. Oh, actually, there we go. Look, another car right here. So I believe this, right? Hear me out. No, shut. Stop. Stop. Thank you. This car, I think, looks a bit like an MR2, but Sam mentioned that it looks also a bit like an MX5. And now that I look at it, I also think it looks a bit like the Fiat that Hammond drove in the Grand Tour. I can't think what it's taught. Is it the Fiat X1 slash 9? That blue one that Hammond drove there. I can't get over how ridiculous this map. Look at this. It's absolutely <laughs> bonkers. Oh my god! Oh my god, someone's driving a piece of cheese. Now we're talking. So, it goes without saying, this is a variation of a smart car, Toyota. Uh, what's it called? The washing machine that they made. Was it the IQ? I think it was the IQ. Nice and small. Very compact. Um, I don't know how fast it is though. So, um, let's find out. We're doing 60 miles an hour. 80 miles an hour. <laughs> the piece of cheese. 90. Turn. <laughs> it's stupid. So stupid. 105 ish. 110. Fantastic. Okay, let's head on to. And freeway, shall we? So we need to go left onto the next part of the map. Oh, I've hit another cheese man. I, I'm stuck in the wall. So whilst I'm driving to... Um, wait, do they all stop there? Is that like a border thing or is that just a glitch? This game's got some bugs. Um, it may go without saying. Anyway, the car that I'm next to right now. Now, hear me out. I think the front of it looks like a Rover SD1. Can you see it? I can see a Rover SD1, but for the rest of the car, I can't see what it is. Primarily, I don't know what the main vehicle is. But the only vehicle I can argue is it looks a bit like an SD1. Now, behind us, we have these two mahoosive cars. These are, I think, undoubtedly Cadillacs. They are massive, they're big. Look at the size of that bloody bonnet. It's ridiculous. The arse end hangs out just like most Americans do as well. So it's definitely some form of an Cadillac. What's this? So, I honestly can't put my finger on what car this actually is, but it just looks like Lady Penelope's car from Thunderbirds, doesn't it? If you get that thing in pink, you are sorted. Get yourself a butler, name him Parker. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous game. A piece of cheese is funny and all that. But there was one car that I've not seen yet, which I want to drive. So if you want to call vehicles in the game, you push right on the D-pad, and this is where you're calling your vehicle. And because this is the future, self-driving cars, which I don't particularly agree with, but regardless, this is the Type 66 of engine. Now, this was the first vehicle I, um, I spent a lot of money on. Let's give this a drive. Now, this... This handles completely different to everything else that I've driven. All the vehicles in this game have different handling mechanics, and it's good. I like it. So if we can find a corner, I can get the back end out for you a little bit. There was one there, but there was a guy turning in. 
Let's see if we can get a bit of a tail slide here. There we go, into the into the garage. Not the best example, I'm, I'm, I was hoping that would be a, a junction, but... I've just killed a man. No! No, we got the police after it. Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> there we go, power slides. There we go. See? Sorted. Solid and sorted handling. I love it. So now we're on the outskirts of the map. Uh, and as we can see, the absolute sheer size of the city is gargantuous. It's ginormous. It is huge. And to put into comparison, uh, we are here. And we started up uh, here. So we've travelled some distance in, what, 21 minutes or so that I've been recording this, and I've been dicking about doing all sorts. So if you go into messages in the game, you can see here, someone called Sebastian wants to sell me his vehicle. Ooh, it's a bike. Uh, but there we go. So here's the Al Alvarado. So that's the car that I said looked a bit like Lady Penelope's car. There's a four-door saloon. You've got another Cadillac there. So this is how you get notified when you've unlocked new cars in the game. Um, what else have we got? Have you got a car for sale? Yes, you have. Now, these are cool. You can start the game in the outskirts, if you so wish. And you can get off-road vehicles. And these are a handful of them. Look at these. They're mental. In terms of comparison to what they look like, that looks a bit like a Subaru Brat that's been lifted. Um, and that's just a psychotic Golf GTI. But no, they're all all for sale here. So there we go. Look, there you can get the Quadra. Uh, you can get a bike if you're more on And there it is! You can get the Mackie Mag Mai Mai. Uh, so there's a van, off-roader. That's the, uh, the Mustang-y kind of thing that I've bought. And there is the... Uh, the other one. Probably only 1,000 left in the world. This part of the map doesn't just feel like a different part of the game. It just feels like a different game. I can't imagine, you know, one minute I was just in this bustling, huge city, and now I'm in the middle of God knows where, with less than five cars on the road at any given time. Look at this, it's just so derelict and just barren. So I think we've come to the border of Night City. They've got giant exclamation marks because it's the future. Looking at the size of this, I think this is just a... Yeah. Leaving Night City. They're getting suspicious. No! I just drove up to you! No! Run away! Go away! Why are you shooting at me? So, should you buy Cyberpunk as a car enthusiast? Well, inevitably, the decision is down to yourself. But, I can give you some... Valid ideas and pointers into what might help you form your conclusion. So first off, the handling. I like it. It's very good. It's weighty. The only thing I can really compare it to is a uh, more developed version of Battlefield 5 sort of handling. Mixed with a little bit of GTA 4. The cars are weighty. The suspension is good. And the cars all handle differently. It's fantastic. Visually, the cars look awesome as well. So they are not only pretty to look at, but they are good to drive. The map? Well, it's huge. Bigger than GTA 5, it's got these vast, vast areas. And don't get me wrong, I've been driving on the roads, but look, you can drive off-road as well. You can get off-road vehicles and do all this sort of stuff. I don't go off-road because, you know, I'm not a murderer or a nonce. However, at the end of the day, this game is, first and foremost, an RPG. So if you don't like those sort of games, then solidly just give this a miss. No matter how much you love cars, if you hate RPGs, don't bother with this game. Just don't. But if you're willing to, you know, give it a chance and work through the first 15 hours of the prologue before the game becomes open world, then give it a go. Don't get me wrong, within those 15 hours you can drive around in a locked down area of the map. But again, that's up to you to decide if you want to do that. So there we are guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully those pointers have helped you come to a conclusion as to whether you might like this game or not. Um, it has also got Keanu goddamn Reeves in it. Keanu goddamn Reeves is in this game. And, and if that's not enough to convince you, then I, I don't know what is. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I might do some more content on this in the future. I know it's got street races and stuff. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. So make sure to leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Uh, I've just crashed into a cactus. Make sure to subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, goodbye.